Electronics to Canada we already discussed in the previous class. Yes, we discussed in the previous class about the life cycle of a butterfly. Okay, and so today we will discuss about the life cycle of a frog. Life cycle of a frog. You know what, children? Frogs can also reproduce by laying eggs on leaves. So today we are going to discuss about the life cycle of a frog. In the previous classes, we discussed about the life cycle of a hen and butterfly. Okay, and we observe the different stages in their life cycle. So in the frog life cycle, it also has a different stages in their life cycle. In the same way, frogs can also start their begin their life in the first stage that is called an egg. This is the first stage of a life cycle of a frog. frog. But one difference is frog can lay the eggs in the water. Okay, but frogs can lay the mother frog can lay the eggs in the water. But in the butterfly life cycle, we observe the butterfly can lay the eggs in the on the leaf. But here frogs can lay the eggs on the water surface of the water. After some days, if we observe the the small tadpole will come. The small tadpole will hatches comes out from the eggs. This is the second stage. The tadpole will comes out from the eggs. In this tadpole stage, it have a gills and tail. It have a gills and tail. We can observe that it just like a small fish because these tadpoles can live in the water so because of these gills they can breathe under the water and come moving with this tail only they can swim in the water and after some more days we can see that these tadpoles can have uh, two legs you can see that this tadpole can we can see that it has two legs tadpole with two legs This is the third stage of a life cycle of a frog. After some more days, after some more weeks, the tail will goes to disappear. The tail will goes to disappear and it will become as a froglet. It will become as a froglet and this is the fourth stage. If you can see that four legs will be there and some small tail. You can see the small tail will be there and four legs will be there but in the third stage it has a only two legs but in the fourth stage it has a four legs and one more important thing is it has a small tail also this is about the fourth stage after some more weeks the tail the tail will completely go to disappear and it will have a four legs and become another other frog become another other frog these are the different stages of the life cycle of a frog but in the previous classes we observed that hen have three stages in their life cycle and butterfly has four stages but in the frog life cycle we will observe these five stages first one is the eggs the mother frog will lay eggs on the surface of the water after some days it will become a little just like a small fish if you can see that it has a tail in there and another thing it has a gills also it, this tadpole can live in the water, so it has a gills to breathe in the water, and one more thing, they have a tail to swim. After some days, the tail, the gills will go, to, uh, the tails will go to disappear, and it become as a two legs. You can see that here two legs are there. In the third stage, we can observe that two legs will be there. After some more days, the tail will be starting to disappear, and we can see that. The frog will be in the four legs and a small tail. After few more weeks, if you be under the, the tail will be completely go to disappear and it will become as a other frog. This is the these are the different stages of the life cycle of a frog. And now you can tell me, children, is there any difference between the life cycle of a frog and butterfly? Yes, one difference is there. Actually, the butterfly.
butterfly life cycle has a four stages butterfly has only four stages in a life cycle but in the frog we can observe the five stages right frog we can observe the five stages and one more important thing is these these frog can begin their life on the land in the same way they can end their life also on the land only but one more important difference is the frog can begin their the, the frogs can start their life cycle in the water okay they can start their life cycle in the water but they can complete their life at the end they can be as adult frog on the land only okay they can complete their life cycle on the land as other that is the main difference between the life cycle of a frog and butterfly but one similarity is the what is the similarity between the life cycle of a frog and butterfly yes both the frog and butterfly both can reproduce by laying eggs yes both can reproduce by laying yes this is the similarity between the life cycle of a butterfly and frog yes children now one more thing is that if you can see that in the life cycle of a hen we observe that the young one of a uh, hen is completely same the some features are same to the adult hen but in the life cycle of a butterfly and frog we observe that the young one is completely different Uh, in the, for example, in the butterfly, the young one of a butterfly is a caterpillar, right? Here you can see that the young one of a frog is a tadpole. These are completely different to the adult. We can call them as a, we can call that process is a metamorphosis. We can call that process as a metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is nothing but the complete transformation. The complete transformation of a from one stage to another stage. You can see that in the butterfly stage, the complete trans uh, from caterpillar to it will change as a butterfly now. So that is called as a metamorphosis. In the uh, frog life cycle also, the tadpole is completely changes into frog now. That is called as a metamorphosis. Yes, children. Now we will hear about the topic. Yes, children. Now you can take out the content book. Lesson number four: Life cycle of a frog. The life cycle of a frog has mainly five stages. Stage one is a egg. The mother frog lays egg in the water. Yes. Now you can see the second stage. In this second stage, we can call that as a tadpole. The egg has and tadpole come out of them. They have tail and gills. With the tail only they can swim in the water, and with the gills they can breathe. It uh, looks like a just small fish, right? Now you can see the third one, tadpole with the legs. This is a stage three. This is a stage three. In this tadpole with the two legs, we can see that the tadpole grows two legs. Now we can see the fourth stage, the young frog. We can call that as a froglet stage. In this stage, a tadpole develops into a young frog with the four legs and a tail. We may observe that it will. We may observe that it have a four legs and a small tail will also there. We can see the fifth stage one. This is adult frog. In this stage, the young frog grows to become an adult frog with the no tail we cannot see the tail it has a four legs and it uh, is now it can live on the land as a adult uh, once again see that the young one of a frog looks differently at every stage of its life cycle the same way butterfly also looks differently in this is in the different stages no in the same way but a uh, frog also looks differently in each stage we can call this stage as a metamorphosis we can see this metamorphosis in the mostly in the life cycle of a butterfly and a frog now you can see the words to learn gills gills are nothing but breathing organs in the water animals we can see these gills in mostly in the aquatic animals like a fish did you know a frog starts its life cycle in the water and completes it on the land just now only we observe that it uh, lays the eggs in the water and it completes its life cycle on the frog as a adult
Yes, children. Now we can open the content book. Lesson number 9.4. Life cycle of a frog. Here you can see that. See the first question. Write about each stage in the life cycle of a frog. Number them to show the correct sequence of the stage. See the pictures and in the first, second column you have to write the name of the stage and you have in the third column you have to write the sequence. One has been done for you here. Now you can see the second question. Write one similarity between the life cycle of a butterfly and a frog. Children, here you can find the content book PQs, practice questions. See the fill in the blanks. The third stage in the life cycle of a frog is dash, that pole with the legs or egg frog. Now we can see the B statement. The eggs of a frog hatch into dash, egg frog or tadpoles. See the second question. Draw the life cycle of a frog. Label the stages in the life cycle. See the third question. Write the changes that occurs when a tadpole grows into a young frog. You have to write the changes. Okay children, read the content book once again and complete the workbook and write the PQs in your notebook. Thank you.